Meanwhile, Ukraine already experiencing several cyber attacks, but just because malware was launched thousands of miles away doesn't necessarily limit the threat. We could have a ripple effect. In fact, U.S. leaders see that as a potential threat, and that's why some at UT San Antonio are helping to protect U.S. cybersecurity. The night team's Patty Santos has the story. This is going to be a proliferated engagement. It's going to happen in the next few days. I think what I'm more concerned about is what happens over the next several weeks. Retired U.S. Air Force Brigadier General Guy Walsh is viewing the Ukraine conflict through his experience with the Department of Defense and Cybersecurity. Hundreds of computers in the Ukraine were infected before the attack, and now there are issues with cell networks and the Internet. And that follows a, what I'll say a normal pattern of, of how cyber uh, is used. The loss of the media out there intended to create that chaos uh, within uh, the public sector. With the threat of cyber attack at home, Walsh says the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are keeping an eye on what's coming across networks and the effects in Ukraine. UTSA is capable of helping in that effort. Walsh leads the National Security Collaboration Center at UTSA. What the universities do is assist by providing research and in, in analyzing that data, right? So there's a lot of capability, particularly here at UTSA, in both the cyber we're doing right now, we're working in the areas of artificial intelligence. What can we do in terms of sifting through and analyzing that data? How can we do some of that with machines as opposed to an analyst having to sit down and go through each of those? Walsh says quicker access to that information will lead to better decision making out in the field. Uh, again, I, th I, I don't I wouldn't make any expectations or assume uh, that Russia and that Putin will stop on those borders. Uh, and so being prepared for that uh, is very important. And, so and again, Walsh says information sharing is key as well as protecting infrastructure like our power grid and our water plants and making sure they're up to code to protect yourself online. Make sure that you have strong passwords and set up a second form of a verification, the kind that is sent to your phone. Steve, Stephania, 